Well, I'm going to do a video here uh, <clears throat> and just show you uh, a little bit about PowerTab Editor. Uh, you can uh, d download it for free online. Uh, just Google uh, PowerTab Editor and uh, they'll bring you right to a spot where you can just download it. It doesn't take that long uh, to download. And first off, I'm going to show you how to do just a quick little tab thing here. I just hit file and hit new. <clears throat> and I want to make the, for the video, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm just making the numbers, see if this will help to see it better. And you do your use your arrow keys or the mouse cursor to move around. <clears throat> so there I put a three on. So you just type in the tab you want, and it's going to show you up here the note value, which you can't, can't see it down below here, but there it's on a eighth note. You can change it to quarter, half holes. Uh, dotted notes and then I use the arrow key to go to the right to make it a little bit neater so I'm going to put a zero here I'm just going to do like a little arpeggio you just type in the, the number in your keypad It's a really cool program. I use it for uh, uh, if I transcribe something and I want to have it in print. And then up above here, there's a little measure bars. And put a bar line in. Oops. Putting a one. I'm doing a C chord now. Okay, now I can go back to the bar. And I like this program because mainly I've been using it since like I think 2001 or two. And I do have Finale and Guitar Pro, Guitar Pro 5. That's a really neat one. I'm just used to this one. Okay, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna put a bar line there. And you can just copy and paste. And if I want to repeat, I'm going to repeat there. And there's a ton of uh, tunes out there that you can find a uh, power tab. Find the find the songs in power tab, and then you just get the program, which is free, which is really cool. And then you can play it. This is just uh, this little progression here, going from G to C, and uh, they have your notes up here, your rest. Uh, if I want to do a split measure on this, instead of having the, so I can have the bottom notes and the and the upper notes, so I could just go to uh, hit low melody. And now I got to put a rest for the upper melody. And it tells you if it's upper melody or lower. Now this note here, I'm going to just make it simple. I'm just going to make it a, I'm going to put it as a dotted half. 
or actually I can't because I got it coming in there again. I'll I'll just put it as a half note. And then this one I can change. Make that a lower note. Make it a half. And then I want to put an upper rest in here that's a eighth. It takes a while to get it going, but it's uh it's not that hard. So now it looks a little neater here if you can see it. That'd be the correct way. Sometimes I get lazy and I'll just type them in and have them everything the same, just all upper staff. But now this bottom note will ring a little longer. At least on this first measure. save it. Now say if, uh, if you had a tab that was already finished. Because once you download the program you got to find a, a tab somewhere to open it up or else you do it how I just did it there by doing your own own stuff. Uh, you can go online and uh, Ultimate Guitar has a lot of power tab submitted there if you want to listen to different ones. Uh, let me Here's one that I did a while back. I just put it up on YouTube. Let me find it. <clears throat> I think it's this one here. So it just opens it up. Now this was at Stand By Me. So I just play it here. And I did a little fade in coming in. And this is where I have the top and the bottom worked out. The top staff and the lower staff. But then they're, they call it split measure. Or split staff, I mean. And then you can add other, they have different uh, uh, MIDI sounds. I, coming up here I have some where I just put some little string, some orchestra strings in on the chorus. And that's the staff here doing the strings. And you can turn the metronome off if you don't want to hear that clicking. Pretty cool and the best part is it's free and there's tons of music out there all right that's my little demo all right thanks